my name's Dr Natalia Lawrence and I'm one of the developers of the Food Training app. Hello, my name's Lucy Porter and I'm a PhD student working in this research team. So today we're going to be talking to you about the Food Trainer app. This is the app that we're developing here at the University of Exeter alongside researchers at the University of Cardiff. The idea behind the app is to help people gain a bit more control over their impulses to go towards unhealthy foods. So if you find it particularly hard to resist food temptation, then you may be high in something called food cue reactivity. So if you're food cue reactive, a number of responses are triggered in your body when you're exposed to food cues. These include things like salivating, releasing hormones that prepare your body to digest the food, and very quick responses in the brain. All of these brain areas will become very active very quickly in people who are food cue reactive. What is the Food Trainer app? Yeah, so it's a very simple computer game and what it does is it trains you to repeatedly stop responding to unhealthy foods that you might find tempting and difficult to resist. And so by repeatedly stopping yourself from pressing a button or tapping the screen, responding to foods like chocolate, it kind of trains your brain to associate those foods with inhibiting a response. Then it can make these foods easier to resist um, in everyday life, leading you to eat less of them and even to lose weight. But another question people always ask is uh, where should they play it or when should they play it? So of course you can play it anywhere, but we recommend you play it when you're feeling hungry um, and when you're in a place that you might commonly eat in. So you could be at home in the evening, you could be at work, at your desk, anywhere where you would commonly snack um, the foods that you find difficult to resist. And the reason we recommend this is because what the app is trying to do is teach your brain new associations about those foods. So the more you do the training in the places and at the times of day where you would eat those foods, the more effective the training should be. It's quite important that you're sitting or standing still when you do the training. This is because the main point of the training is for you to be as still as possible when you have to stop to those foods in the game. The other piece of advice that we have is to just be patient. The effects of this training are actually quite small, but this is a good thing. It's not going to disrupt your life, it's not going to be a complete overhaul, it's going to be small and sustainable changes that hopefully will see you into a healthier lifestyle that you can maintain. Thank you for watching this short video, we hope, hope it was useful. If you've got any other questions um, or you'd like to get involved in our research projects, please feel free to contact us on the email address on our website.